Hello, beautiful people. Hello, children of God. This is Genesis. I am so excited. We are getting to know him. I look a little tired, but that's okay. Today's Thursday. It's sunny outside. Um, it's about 40 degrees. I feel great. I did not work out today, but I still feel amazing. I worked out in the spirit, okay? I've been up since like 2 o'clock. I've been praising, worshiping, thanking God. A lot of different weird attacks, right? But you know that you are really um, uprooting the enemy's plan when everything around you gets agitated. <laughs> we just serve an excellent God. We serve a mighty God. We just need to give him praise right now. I just feel it, Lord. I just thank you. I thank you for this opportunity, Lord. I thank you, Father God. I thank you for the love, Lord, even in the midst of the storm that I'm currently going through, Lord Jesus, that the provision is already made. I thank you that the people who will actually see this video, Father God, that they will be encouraged, Father God, that they will seek you, Lord Jesus, that they will begin to open their Bibles and want to learn more about you, Father. Father, we would never understand you. You didn't even create us for that. You created us to worship you, Father. You created us for love, Lord. Lord, we just love you. We love the Holy Spirit. We love what you're doing in your people, Father God. We just thank you. Less of us and more of you. I feel your presence, oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. I admonish you guys to wherever your space is at, your room, Turn it into praise. Watch what happens when you just, even if it's your bedroom, just start praising God in there a lot. I feel like that's for somebody. Well, it actually is. Because it's blessing me, I'm telling you. So, we are going to just kind of go into discipline today. I realized that my entire life, I lived a very undisciplined life. So at the beginning of about last week, God started dealing with me concerning um, social media. Um, God has taken me to a different level and it is going to require great discipline. And one of the things that I realized is that um, I want to have a social media platform, but I also cannot idolize or spend excessive amount of times on social media because that can be very unhealthy. Even if you're looking at positive stuff, you have to stop watching other people and you need to become, right? Because we can get into a habit of watching everybody else and our life is passing us by. That is literally what has happened to me majority of my life. So God has really focused me in that area and saying, hey, listen, I want you to um, worship me more, praise me more, spend more time in the word and less on social media because I had a habit. When God begins to deal with all the ugliness that's going on, not just in your heart, but in your life, you really do not have time to be watching other people. You don't because he's going to start highlighting so many things. And I think there has to be an acceleration when you are dealing with the father, because there's so many things that you are, that you have been accustomed to doing. So when he starts pulling that stuff away from you, away from you, you can get agitated. You can be like, wait a minute, hold on. You know? So that's where I'm at. He's like, okay, it's great what you're doing right? But you're spending too much time watching workout videos. You're spending too much time watching other motivational people when you need to be doing what I asked you to do. So my screen time for this whole week, 11 minutes is the most that I've spent on Instagram. <laughs> And I'm going to give myself a round of applause because I used to spend way more time on that, right? But I was also not dealing with all the things that was going on inside of me. And now I'm walking in purpose. So when you start walking in purpose, you actually don't even want to really watch other people. So it wasn't that difficult for me. What was kind of difficult was God was speaking to me about a particular person that I had around me. And I was working with this person and... um. 
there when you have this the gift of discerning the spirits you know when there are different spirits on people a lot of times you can identify them sometimes you can't um but you will know my body is a detector my body goes off i know when i'm around a person and they are not living right or i don't even want to say no let me fix that so it's not that they're not living right um that person could be very jealous of you. That person can be in competition with you. That person could have slandered your name. I get a real negative feeling. And then also too, their actions, things that this person was doing, it started to stick out to me. So how many of us know, how many, you can go on YouTube right now, right? You can look up how to be disciplined, right? They're gonna tell you, oh, you need to make your bed up, right? You need to create all these small, cute little habits and all that, which is great. Don't get me wrong, because I do think that God wants us to be or in order. I do believe God cares about how we clean up our spaces. He does. He's concerned about all of those things. But how many of us need to be disciplined with the people that we associate ourselves with? Those people that are doing things that are not of God. If you are a disciple of Jesus Christ. You have no business hanging out with people that are getting high, that are getting drunk out of their minds, that are fornicating, masturbating, watching pornography, even the things, start paying attention to the things that your friends like, the things that they reshare, the things that they post about, the things that they discuss and they talk about. I went on a full detox. I literally start unfollowing so many different people. There were people that were following me that I know they didn't like me. So I was like, let me put you out your misery because you keep watching my stories, baby. You need to go on. You know what I'm saying? Get on up out of here. So start doing that. This discipline, oh man, this is going to be deep because you can take this. This is just, we ain't even cracked the surface yet, right? But discipline. But discipleship and discipline with Christ looks totally different from what you would think. Yeah, it's great to make your bed up. It's great to clean your house up. It's great to wash your dishes and have organization and all of those great things and put little labels on. That is cute, right? But let's come up. Let's come up higher than that. Let's remove toxic people, right, that are bringing us down. When you are around certain people and you leave them, and you feel drained, you pouring into these people and you ain't getting none back, those are not your people. And those are not the people who God called for you to be around in your life. You need to remove yourself. There were, there were parts of you, there are fragments of you that are used to that toxicity. So that's why you attract that. You need to say, God, what is wrong with me? What is in me that is causing me to have toxic friendships and relationships? Whew, I dare you to do that. It's going to change your life. So I was going to come on here with some cute and talk about a little discipline. We, you know, we're going to get into a lot of those things too um, throughout the month of March. But I think that this should be the focal point. And this is, some, this is blessing me, honestly. Because you could be doing a good thing. It doesn't mean that it is a God thing. Okay, now I thought it would be fitting for me to go to Romans 12 and 1. How awesome is this Bible? Because I have the spiritual warfare Bible. This Bible is amazing. And so we're going to go Romans 12 and 1. And it says the new life in Christ. I urge you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service of worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given to me to everyone among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. But to think with sound judgment, according to the measure of faith, God has distributed to every man. For just as we have many parts in one body and not all parts have the same function, so we being many are one body in Christ and all are parts of one another. 
We have diverse gifts according to the grace that is given to us. If prophecy according to the proportion of faith, if service in serving, he who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts in exhortion, he who gives with generosity, he who rules with diligence, he who slows mercy, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. This is man. Everything in the Bible is powerful. And I, I'm like, I'm going I'm to need to stop saying that because it's like, my God. The new life in Christ. So, I admonish you. And I urge you, brethren, to present your body to God. Presenting your body to God in every area of your life. I'm going through therapy and she's big on your connection with your body and the emotions and the things that you're feeling. Everything ties together. When you're around certain people, start paying attention to how you feel. Start giving those things to God. Saying, God, do you want me to associate with this person? Lord, I want to present my body to you as a living sacrifice. Lord, what does that look like? How does presenting my body to you look? Holy Spirit, what should I do? Holy Spirit, how can I submit my body to you? How can I submit my will to you? Begin to take these scriptures and literally ask God, how do I do this? What does a new life in Christ look like, Father? How can I get the gift of faith? How can I build my faith, Lord? Through the word. Everything we need is right in here. Everything we need. So I'm just going to pray us out. Heavenly Father, I thank you. I praise you. I magnify you. I thank you that you are Jehovah Rapha, the God that heals, Lord. I thank you that you are here with me right now, Father God, and I feel such a sweet presence, Lord. I thank you for the joy in the midst of my storm. I thank you for the grace that's on my life. I thank you that mercy is new every morning, Lord Jesus. I thank you that this video will touch the persons, the people that it is intended to touch, Lord. I thank you for new followings, Lord. I thank you for new disciplines this month, Lord. I thank you for new revelation. I thank you that I, when I read the word of God, I retain it and the enemy does not come and steal it. I thank you that you've given me authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm me. You guys have an amazing Thursday. Have an amazing weekend. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.